you know what you're talking about. Moonlight doesn't start until first breath. Actually, no, it totally doesn't. It only references like when it talks about that kind of stuff. It talks about a fetus um, being alive, moving, uh, leaping in the womb, that kind of thing. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible yeah. condones slavery, though. Actually, no. It actually says that anyone who um, kidnaps another person, which is what like American slavery was built on, was man stealing. Man, man, man stealing. If you slavery, if you take though. if you if you you're kidnap equivo- someone, you're equivocating it, though. You're saying it's the same by saying that. You're thinking. American slavery. When you say the Bible condones no, slavery, you're not, th- you're not thinking of you're not thinking of like indentured servitude, that type of thing. I mean, unless we're talking um, the Mormon alternative version of history, then there was no slavery in America back then. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Mormon alternative of history. But uh, what I will <laughs> say is that what I will say is that the abolitionists of slavery, like the the biggest group of them in Britain in America. They were the ones who said, man is made in God's image, slavery is wrong because Jesus Christ makes men equal, therefore we should abolish slavery. And we believe the same thing about abortion today. So those who actually did the work to change the, the hearts and minds of people and change the laws to abolish slavery were Christians who got their ideas from the Bible. But instead of, and, and actually, instead of going out and protesting this, why don't you go out and promote other things that actually lower abortion rates, like proper education, proper proper sexual education, Planned making sure that Planned Parenthood they actually does not... 300,000, 300 plus thousand abortions every 10% year. 10% of oh. what they do. In fact, it's like a little less than 10% of what it's they do is abortion. So what we, if 10% of what Adolf Hitler did was gassing Jews and the rest, he's got the trains running on time, they're, they're making all these leaps and bounds and... I mean, you can't say that only because this so certain percent. So you're saying that all the rest so of the work that Planned Parenthood does, STI screenings, and uh, making be, sure that people I'd be fine with most of it their, if they uh, if they stop murdering children. Are able to actually do it safely, properly, they shouldn't, and get the they shouldn't be murdering. Your government money goes towards the abortion. They shouldn't be murdering 300,000 people well, every year. That's government money goes to Planned Parenthood. So they can then spend it on other things and use that money then. Abolishing abortion would dramatically lower the abortion rates. Except no. it wouldn't, because... Oh, it would no. actually so be a, abortion, establishing before justice. Before abortion was legal, and people were still getting abortions. Right, just like rape is illegal, people are still raping each other. It's still evil, and it should still be illegal. So just because it's legal, and it's, it's just because some people will still do it, doesn't mean we should just allow it. That's insane. But I still think it's, it's clear that if, if, you know, we, the next 10 years, we keep doing this stuff, and we work, and we talk to legislators, and... You know, we change people's minds so more people think that abortion should be, should be illegal than the people who think it should be legal. And then we pass, you know, laws in different states that say abortion is now illegal, it's now considered murder. It would happen less, a lot less. It would be suppressed, its behavior would be suppressed, it would be illegal. People wouldn't be, you know, losing health care, people wouldn't be dying in the streets. It's never been seen before in history, and it won't be seen. Because when abortion is abolished, it's not going to be like some insane collapse of society. And abortion will still happen because people will still want to kill their kids. It'll still happen. But no one ever, just like rape is illegal, just like we made slavery illegal, some people still enslave some people. It still happens. People still profit off of slavery. It doesn't mean we should leave it how it is. So by saying, oh, well, it's still going to happen if we make it illegal, that's not an argument about whether or but not you're it's, saying that it's going it's to not an argument. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. Of it. And I'm saying okay, that you interrupted me. I'm just trying to finish the sentence here. I'm just trying to finish the sentence here. It doesn't matter, really. It doesn't really matter in the end. What we're talking about is whether or not it's right or wrong. Saying that it will still happen is not an argument for or against the morality of abortion, right? <laughs> if we say it, it's still going to take place, right? So let's, let's take X to represent whatever, and we're going to try to ban it. When they're like, oh, well, it's still going to happen even if we ban it. But the real argument is, is X good or bad, right or wrong? Should it be illegal or not? And that's what I'm saying, is that abortion should be illegal. Whether or not people will do it, it should not be allowed. We shouldn't allow it, because it is the murder of a human being. 